So the other review I've got for you today is Amber Musk by Al Haramain. So Amber Musk was launched in 2021 and it's from the Musk Collection, which also has Royal Musk, Musk Maliki and Musk Collection fragrances. This one in particular is the Ambery Rose Musk scent. Of course, if you live in the UK, you can purchase this from Al Haramain UK directly. You can find their page on Instagram and they do have a website as well. It's technically very similar to what you would pay in the Middle East for example so not much of a price difference which I thought was quite good definitely worth checking out though so in the top notes in this fragrance you've got amber white musk and oud in the mid notes you've got raspberry rose birch and saffron and the base notes you've got amber wood geranium and benzoin I've done a quick unboxing on this fragrance as well which you can find on my youtube channel and I'll try to link the unboxing in the description box below but this is how the bottle looks to me, this had a very, very beautiful opening with a mix of absolutely everything that I just mentioned. Immediately, you can smell the amber more with hints of raspberry and rose, and then after a few minutes, you start to feel hints of oud as well. And then a few minutes after that, the rose becomes a slightly stronger, but balances out well with the amber. The initial projection is quite good. It travels lightly, but it's definitely evident, so it is a little bit thick. Not too thick, a little bit thick, so you can definitely smell it, but it does travel quite lightly. To me, the colour of the bottle represents the feeling of the scent, honestly. It's like the feeling of a sunset when you're moving from day to night. In fact, after about 10 minutes, the raspberry disappears and the rose softens. And the scent starts to darken a little bit as well, just like moving from day to night. And that's how I feel about the bottle as well, where you've got like the saffrony colour, so you've got the red and orange and yellow hues mixed together. That's exactly how, that, like, that's a sunset colour to me, if you ask me. And that's how this fragrance feels as well. It feels like a sunset when you're moving from a, a nice, vibrant, sunny day into a more darker night. That being said, however, I do think it's quite versatile. So you can wear it in any season, anywhere, to work, to a park, or even on the school run. And also, I think it's a unisex scent, so it's suitable for men and women. So, about an hour later, my husband came and asked me if I was wearing Interlude Man by Amwaj. So, I couldn't smell the scent that much on myself, but when I smelt my wrist, where I had sprayed Amber Musk, it felt like Interlude. So, when I told my husband what I was actually wearing, he was quite surprised that it was this. And also, just to point out again that I couldn't smell the fragrance on me unless I went close to where I sprayed it, but my husband could, so it was still projecting, it's just that I couldn't smell it. So, the comparison to Interlude uh, Man by Amwaj at this point, of course, Interlude is much higher quality, projects a lot more and is much thicker as well. This was a lot lighter, still very good quality, but along the same lines in terms of scent profile. And that was like one hour after I sprayed this fragrance. And then an hour after that, so you're talking about two hours after I initially sprayed this fragrance, it changes again to like a soft musk scent with some woody notes. And this on my skin lasted approximately seven hours. I can't say that I could smell it myself projecting off me after one hour, but my husband could. So it's one of those scents that you can't smell, but other people around you can. Or maybe my nose was blocked, I don't know, but I definitely couldn't smell it after one hour. But I know my husband could, and he kept telling me that he could smell it. The initial scent, I thought, it was very, very nice. It's like a burst of amber, raspberry, and rose, which is definitely noticeable. Overall, I really like this scent out of the whole collection. I really liked this one. The scent profile, I'd rate about 8 out of 10, even though it's my type. But I give it 2 points less because it's not, like, mind-blowing. And projection and performance, I would rate about 7 out of 10. But that is how this fragrance is. So... To just summarise, it's like it is an ambery raspberry rose scent to open with, and then it starts to darken a little bit. So the raspberry and the raspberry completely disappears after about an hour or two, and then you've got a little bit of rose, but then slowly, slowly it starts to darken a little bit more, so it becomes more of a rose oud woody scent. Then the dry down is more around a soft musk with some woody notes. So that is Amber Musk by Al Haramain. If you like um, what I've just described to you, then I definitely suggest you try out this fragrance because it is good. It does last for an average amount of time and it does project. So when you do try it, you might think that you can't smell it, but probably ask people around you because they will be able to smell this fragrance. So if you have any other questions, then do let me know in the comments box below. Otherwise, thank you for watching today's video, guys, and I'll see you guys soon.